what I'm actually, this is taken off of a GoPro Hero 2, what most people seem to use nowadays, besides the really rich kids that have their $20,000 cameras. Um, we're just going to get right into it. First things we want to go and do is hit Options, go down to Preferences, find the Editing tab. Now you should see New Still Images Length, New Still Image Length in Seconds, make it 0 0.033. So basically what we're doing is we're taking it and we're making it so it goes through our pictures in a third of a third of a second. So it's going to basically that's what does our time lapse and just hit apply and then okay. <laughs> Alright, next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get our photos. So um, find your, um, your time lapse photos once you are there. Select all of them that apply. Drag on to your timeline. All the way to the left and release. So now you have everything and it's about 14 seconds long. Um, now, you actually have a higher resolution than you think. Um, so, I mean, it takes it in this little blotchy area. We can make it actually look better. So, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to find your um, project settings. And um, so we're going to hit this guy right here, project video properties. And you're going to hit uh, match media video settings. And you're going to go and find your one of your pictures. So it doesn't really matter which one. Open. Hit apply and OK. So now we have a perfect high resolution uh, photo. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit save it. We're going to save it. Um, let's name it TL1 time lapse. Save it as a VEG file. Okay, next thing what we're going to do is we're going to hit new. And okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find that VEG file. Once you found it, take it and drag it into here, not to your desktop. What are you thinking? Actually, we can move it to our desktop. It's okay. So, this one, yeah, this guy. We're gonna move it right here. There we go. All right. Yes. All right. So now we have it in an easier length file, so it's easier to work with. Okay. Now that we actually have our time lapse, um, we can make it look like however we want. We'll start with color correction. Get to the main part of our clip. I'm going to look at it and make sure everything is correct. Looks good. We're happy with it. All right. All right. So we'll come right here. Um, go to your project input stuff, whatever you want to call it. Um, hit color curves. Always good to have that. Make it look like a nice S look. Ooh, what was that? <laughs> that was disgusting. Add some more color curves. Don't double click. There's a lesson to learn. So I don't know what the fuck happened there. Alright. Pull that out a little bit more. Until it meets your preference. Let's go with that. Alright, and you can play around with that. Um, next, go ahead and, and hit um, color secondary color corrector. Or, um... <laughs> Sony color corrector, not secondary. Alright, now we're going to go up to the middle. And whatever, mine has a lot of reds in it, so I'm going to go and move this up into reds a little bit. Yeah, I like that. So once you find something you like, you can do that. Play around with it. You're basically done, except for one final preference thing. 
um, you can choose to have this basically start in an area and move it while you're done. So have your preset and make it go to nine widescreen area. Just trust me, it looks better. But what you can do is have it start. Maybe you want it to start right up here. And when it finishes, it'll slowly be down there. So what you do, you would take it right here. Put a keyframe. Okay, and then we drag it all the way over here. And you would want it to be maybe down there. And just go ahead and add a keyframe. Exit out. So now, go to the very start. We'd start right here and we'd move our way downward. Now you can play around with that, do whatever you want. Now you're ready to render and you are done. See, that wasn't so bad at all. Not bad at all. Alright, guys, I'm out.